Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss special angles. Now special angles are angles that when you use them you would see a similarity in sin cos tan. Right. To remember special angles what is common with the new calculators is that you can simply press in the values and you would get it in a third form. A third is a root sign. But if you intend going to university or if you're going to write the entrance exam into a university, the first thing is you may not use a calculator, which means you then need this method to understand or to answer those questions. Special angles work with 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. To remember it, we're going to use a radius of 2, which gives us, if you look, it's 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. But I'm rooting all of them. So the root of 4 is 2. And then if I was going to start on top, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 0. Now what we had created is coordinates. We had created an x and a y for each value and at all times the r would be 2. Now remember to calculate any ratio we only need x, y and r. So basically the first coordinate is x, the second one is y, and your center is r. Now, this year you'd have to memorize it. You'd have to be able to use these angles without using a calculator. Okay, if I ask you a question like, what is sin 30 degrees? without using a calculator. Now I know sin is O over H or Y over R. So I look at the 30 degree line and the value of Y is root of 1. So I got root of 1 over R which is 2. So sin of 30 is equal to 1 over 2. And if you press it in your calculator, you'll see that sin of 30 is 1 over 2. Let's try another one. Let's try cos of, of 45 degrees. Let's try cos of 45 degrees. Now we know cos of 45. Cos is x over r. So we're going to go to our 45 degree line. The x is root of 2, the r is 2. So we've got root of 2 over 2. So cos of 45 is equal to root of 2 over 2. Again, if you press it in your calculator, you'll see that that is what your calculator gives you. Sometimes the calculator looks different. The answer looks different, but actually mathematically it's the same. They just look different. Right. So we would use these special angles to answer these questions without using a calculator. Now another way of using the special angles is instead of drawing the Cartesian plane, you use two triangles. If I was going to do sin of 30 degrees, I know sin is O over H. So I choose my 30 degree, O is 1 and H is 2 giving me the same answer but now I have used the special angle triangles. Let's say I want to do, do cos of 45 degrees. So I choose my angle. So I know if this is 45 degrees my O is root of 2, my A is root of 2. So I've got my A over H which is root of 2 over H which is 2. Both methods teach the same thing but they are different styles. You can choose one that you're comfortable with 
and then work with that all the time. You don't need to know both methods. Okay, how would they ask this in the exam? They would give you a question. You would notice that the questions are always 30, 45, 60, sometimes 90. When they give you this, if you press this one time in your calculator and give an answer, you'll get it correct. One mark. That's it. But if you do it step by step, this question could be up to five or six marks because they'll mark each point. Now, since 60 means I go and I look at the 60 degree line and I know it's y over r, so it's root of 3 over 2. So I've got root of 3 over 2 times cos of 45. We're looking at the 45 line, x over r, so it's root of 2 over 2, root of 2 over 2, tan 45. Again, 45 line. X and Y are both root of 2. So it would be Y over X, which is root of 2 over 2. Doing the same thing, cos 30. Cos 30, it's X over R, so it's root of 3 over 2. times cosec 45. Cosec is r on our 45 degree, it's r over y, so it's 2 over root of 2. Now once you've done each value, at that level you can use a calculator and you can simply get the answer. If you are not familiar with your calculator, you can also see where you can cancel like that, can cancel with that. Root of 2 over root of 2 is 1. That can cancel. So you actually left with root of 2 over 2 divided by 2 over root of 2. Now you can't cancel. We need to swap it around. And then we have root of 2 times root of 2 is 2 over 4, which is equal to a half. If you had simply pressed the entire thing in your calculator, you'd see that you would also get a half. Usually in the exams, they would mark till here. You could skip this step and you could go straight to this answer. Okay, thank you for watching.